Well, the people being photographed because they're on the 100 most influential people uh, list. So obviously it's almost like winning an award to be called one of the 100 most influential people of the year. Therefore, you know, you want to take pictures that are pretty much celebrating these, uh, these subjects and, you know, showing them for what they do, giving a little bit of a sense of uh, time and place and uh, what they're being awarded for. I'm Amy Chua and we're about to do a photo shoot with two live tigers. Very excited about this. <laughs> Amy was a challenge, you know, the idea was to have small tigers in the picture and when I saw photographs of these small tigers, I assumed they would be about a large, large house cat size and she could possibly be holding one of them. I was told that the smaller one you can still pick up and hold and when the tigers showed up at her house, uh, they, were, they looked to me like pretty much full grown tigers, at least one of them. And not that they're going to, but they could actually eat a human being, the big one. <laughs> So it was quite intimidating to be sitting in front of a tiger, like three feet away from a tiger looking at you. And, um, and it was, uh, yeah, it was having a tiger in one of her daughter's bedroom put another challenge to it, you know, in this confined space. But the tigers were in a good mood, so it all turned out well. Crazy world here, crazy world. Well, there was a lot of scheduling going back and forth, and initially we were supposed to shoot at sunset uh, in the afternoon. It turned out he had a meeting planned for five o'clock today, so there went our sunset shot, and my main goal was to have a rooftop picture. So in sun, instead of sunset, we had to do sunrise, and uh, with it come you know, the challenge of, of a curfew that lasts from two to five in the morning. Therefore, we had to kind of sleep in the van in front of his house, which then turned on to a couch in his mom's apartment. And everybody was uh, maybe a little bit sleepy this morning, uh, having had only two, three hours on the couch to sleep and coming in on a red eye. But um, I think it went, it went pretty good. In this case, you know, it was important to show Wael's background. I want to give a sense of that we're in Cairo, that we're not in a random place, that we're in the place where the revolution took place. So to have a background that shows Cairo to some extent and um, for the most part, you know, making him look a little bit heroic, making him look um, like a leader that he is. He started the revolution or he had a big part in it and this issue is, is about him. Yeah, this looks good. We have a lot of different ideas, from live pheasants to drawings on blackboards. Well, Grant was a, was a special experience because we went there the day before and he insisted on cooking for us or having us be guests in his restaurant. And I have to say, uh, it was a, a mind-changing experience to be eating in his restaurants. We've never seen food like it and I've never tasted food like it. So. But it was it was amazing. The food was amazing, and he was uh, he was fun to photograph. He was pretty much up for anything. Well, he cooks a lot of pheasant, and pheasants are just beautiful birds. So it made uh, sense to have a pheasant in, in one of the pictures with him. Yeah. Was it tranquilized? <laughs> <laughs> He, uh, luckily he didn't poop on him. You know, birds are often uh, known for having to go to the bathroom quite frequently. And, you know, he sat even on his shoulder. They're very scary birds, they're easily scared. But, uh, no, he was sitting on his shoulder looking at the camera, so you can't blame the bird. Well, in the end, the portrait should always be about the subject and be about the person you're photographing. So their mood and their expression is what carries the picture and everybody, everything else is fairly secondary. If you have a, a perfect expression and capture a good moment, then uh, the rest you know, is less important and that's what you want to achieve.